The long-awaited Pyromane Apocalypse is here. Most people, especially on the PvP side of Ark, were looking forward to the Pyrocalypse, and it's here. But did Wildcard and Snail Games go too far? So I'm going to be going over the new Pyromane nerfs and my personal opinion on the whole thing. And look, I'm going to say it now. I am someone who hates, I am a certified Pyromane hater. But this is what I have to say. The big Pyromane dilemma really stemmed from PvP. People were having a hard time fighting against them if they didn't have the DLC paid for, while some people got over it and kind of found ways to fight the Pyromane players or evade them entirely. But others weren't so lucky and kept getting fried by the Pyromane. So yeah, you could see the frustration. These creatures were crazy strong and added to a good shotgun and other things, it made it kind of hard to fight against this paid DLC. And even in addition, some PvE players were salty because if they didn't buy the DLC, they had to raise multiple dinos and do multiple things to get into caves and other scenarios where Pyromane players could literally just do it first try because they had this interchangeable big and small dino. It kind of wasn't fair and a lot of people were using Pyromanes to do the Dragon Boss, which is one of the harder bosses right now. And in my opinion, the real reason why everything blew up was the scales were tipped when Aberration launched. The map had a hectic launch and when it finally hit our machines the first thing people noticed like the first thing i noticed was the amount of pyromanes on the map it was absurd and they were just ruining the hierarchy of power especially in the blue zone on a map that was super unique with a lot of pay to play additions they squeezed in already with the whole boss tall tales and all the things that came with it they managed to even squeeze another thing in which was the pyromane which didn't really have a place on this map and it was a whole thing of like hurry up and buy which kind of left everyone mad and even players who had it didn't want the dino on aberration so imagine people who paid for this dino still didn't want this dino on aberration that's insane and especially moreover in the underworld so aberration has the underworld and the surface people were like if you were going to add it in why wouldn't you put it up on the top side where it's scorched and no one is really going to be going up there to tame a pyromane when you have 20 to 30 odd reapers chasing and trying to kill you plus the whole weather conditions up there yet they still added the pyromane to the underworld and personally, I wanted them gone for the map. I just have to say that outright. There was way too many. And personally, I just don't like the, I don't like the dino. I really just don't like the dino. Even me, a certified pyromane hater, I think Wildcard and Snail Games went too far with the nurse they implemented. But let me explain. The pyromane has been given new drag weights. This just means you can use a bola on the pyromane. While this does help with the initial taming of them, keeping them in water to break their armor, it also gives a balance in PvP. So if someone transforms on you, you can still bola that creature and it gives you some time to kind of get ready and figure out what you want to do. So while this isn't the worst thing, if you stack it up with the other nerfs that they've added, it kind of makes the fact that a pyromane is a premium pay to play dino meaningless. I felt like this whole bola thing could have been easily changed to like a cooldown on the size transformation. If someone keeps spamming transform, why not extend a cooldown and this way it prevents people from spamming it all the time. This would really help in PvP, but in PvE, players can just wait. If you have to wait 30, 40 seconds to transform again, players can do that. It's not going to be a huge impact on a PvE scenario so it doesn't break the game. Then if we look at the 20% nerf on their damage, making a cooldown would have been more effective than just nerfing their damage altogether. And and they've also added a cooldown on your jump. And to be honest, at the end of the day, no matter how OP the dino seemed or was, and no matter how mad I was or anyone else was, it is a premium dino. It's a pay to play dino. This is what you get with premium. It's going to be game breaking. So when you have to nerf something like this, you don't go overboard. You make slight adjustments to balance it, but still make it feel premium. And honestly, I feel like the community kind of knew that because it was a premium tag, we weren't expecting anything crazy to be done to it. We just thought they're going to nerf it a little bit, maybe make the armor a little bit weaker or like just give us something to make it just a little bit weaker. But this is not a little bit. This is a lot weaker. Absolutely thrown the pyromane in the bin after people have paid for it why should people buy something just for it to be nerfed and not just nerfed slightly but so heavily small alterations that makes sense it makes it a little bit fairer on the whole game but drastic changes just destroys the premium aspect of it i hate the pyromane 
I am not going to ever lie about that. I hate it, but even I think this is way too much. So now, what about the people who spent money on the pyromane? This is just a big F you to those people. Even the new damage reduction, it makes it harder for these things to beat the dragon boss now with early stat lines. One of the big things that people were using these things for was the dragon. So the fact that they got a 20% reduction in damage output, it's going to hurt them there as well. So it's like you've taken most of the upsides of buying and having the pyromane, making paying patrons lose the premium thing they bought for what happens now so people have built and bred up so many pyromane just for them to be almost useless now for the things they want to use them for so it just takes away hours from people who've paid money that's not fair they saw the dash cooldown and they extended this why not use a similar approach for the other nerfs instead of just a whole new mechanic that changes the dino completely that just didn't make sense but i can say Reducing the spawn rate on Aberration is a good thing. That's a good shout. On the underworld area, I still don't think they should be there. I do believe they should be on the surface area because it would make way more sense for the fact that the fire lion is up on the part of the map that is fire. It just makes sense. And the big problem here isn't that Wildcard and Snail Games nerfed the Pyromane. We were all expecting them to nerf it. But the fact that they went so far, this just shows more of a disconnect to their player base and their community because no one asked for it to be this bad. Do they truly know what players want in the game or do they even listen to us or they just make their own decisions regardless of what the players actually want? I believe Aberration didn't hit home like they intended it to from the late release to all the issues of playability and constant updates that ended up breaking the game more than fixing it. All the updates they've put out have broken my game more than fixing it. So I feel like they were scrambling and just to appease the people, they did something that went way overboard and they overcompensated because they were scared or were worried that people were going to stop playing aberration so early and it's like the whole game is broken and they keep breaking it more and they keep focusing on things that they shouldn't be focusing on there's so many things that we should have been focusing on instead of the pyromane right now especially with all the bugs still going on on asa as we speak so yeah the pyromane yeah it needed a nerf but not this much this just made the purchase seem like a fraud if you bought this you might feel like you just got frauded and it's too late to get your money back at this point point. and if you think about it things like this makes people not want to pay for dlc Sees, especially when it comes to dinos and we know we still have a lot more fantastic tames to come out why would people buy this overall it just kind of feels nasty to the people who pay for it and you have to ask yourself will people trust to buy the next fantastic tame will people trust to buy the next package you put out the next dlc after boss tall tales will they after you've done something like this to them it just makes us fear you and fear what you were going to do with our time, our money, and our efforts. Let me know what you guys think about the whole situation. Let me know if you use the Pyromane and if any of these changes actually affect your gameplay or if I'm just looking at it the wrong way and this is completely okay and it balances the Pyromane out perfectly. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget, if you're new here and you like my opinions or if you don't, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.